muscle memory. Muscle memory. <laughs> Should start my own TikTok channel. <laughs> <laughs> Hello everyone, I'm Dr. Paul Leon Tan, member of Singapore Cancer Society, Corrector Cancer Awareness Community, and I'm a consultant surgeon at Kutipal Hospital. Today, I'm here to answer some commonly asked questions about colorectal cancer. Let's see what they are. Okay, question one. Does colorectal cancer affect bowel movements? Well, yes, it certainly can. When the cancer is larger, it can cause constipation, diarrhea, or even small-sized stools. However, in the earlier stages, there may be no change in bowel habits at all. Okay, next question. What are the early symptoms of colorectal cancer? Is blood in the stool considered an early symptom? Well, firstly, there could be no symptoms at all. Thereafter, there could be blood in the stools, and this could either be obvious or what we call occult. What this means is that it can't be seen with the naked eye, but only discovered on testing. All right, next question. Is it true that colorectal cancer is preventable? How is it preventable? Yes we definitely can prevent colorectal cancer. Getting screened is key to the prevention by doing a stool test, which is what we call the Fecal Immunochemical Test, or FIT. How does getting screened using FIT prevent colorectal cancer? Well, if the FIT comes back as positive, this means that there's blood in the stools, and this indicates then there might be polyps, which is a precancerous growth. These then can be removed easily by doing a colonoscopy, preventing the polyps from evolving into cancer. What is a colonoscopy? Is it a painful and risky procedure? A colonoscopy is an examination used to look for changes or growths in the large intestine, which are the colon and the rectum. A long flexible tube with a video camera at the tip allows us to see the inside of the entire colon and perform tissue samples or even removal of the growths if necessary. It's generally a low-risk procedure and most patients are sedated comfortably during the process. So it is quite well tolerated. I hope that we cleared some of the doubts and questions that you have. You can join us at any of our upcoming webinars to learn more. Stay safe and goodbye.